Alright, so for this video I'm going to introduce how to use Scapy to perform packet injection on the network. Uh, so I'm going to start by logging into my Ubuntu server and going to go ahead and browse to the directory that I have a Python script already written for for a Python server. Uh, go ahead and run, well go ahead and uh, edit that first and as you can see this is a server that's going to run on IP address 10.0.1.2 on port 8002 and is basically configured to close immediately after the client connects to it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and run that. And then we're just going to have our server waiting for a client to connect. So then we'll go ahead and switch over to our backtrack machine which is going to serve as the client for this server. And I'm going to start by opening up Wireshark so that we can see at the packet level what's going on whenever we connect to this server. And then I'm going to let that run in the background and then I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal. And then I'm going to run Python as an interpreter. And then start with import socket. And now basically I'm just going to use the socket function in order to connect to my server with a full TCP connection. So I'm going to go ahead and specify the host and port address and then just do an socket connect and host and port and I'll go ahead and start uh, our Wireshark packet sniffing so that we can see what takes place whenever I connect to this and then I'll go ahead and connect to the server. And as you can see in Wireshark, we have our full TCP session, our send request, then our send ACK request back from the server, then our follow-up ACK reply from our host, and then the session is terminated immediately with the fin ACK and ACK. And so I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. And now what I'm going to demonstrate is how to create a half-open connection using Scapy, and the idea behind doing this uh, half-open connection is that it will allow us the opportunity to uh, to perform a sin flood by creating a large number of half-open connections on a TCP port on a server so that it can no longer accept any more requests for open sessions. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Scapy. Scapy, not sure exactly how that's pronounced. Okay, and now I'm going to start by defining my IP packet, and I'm going to do I equals IP, and then go ahead and display it, and this is the packet as it exists by default. So we're going to go ahead and modify a few characteristics of the packet, starting with the source address. Uh, I'm going to change it to our host address, or our client address, specifically the IP address for our backtrack machine, and then change the destination address to the destination of our server. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, encapsulate it with uh, TCP. So. Uh, initialize our TCP and then we're going to change a few characteristics on that with uh, first of all we're going to change the source port address to 
8001, which, which you guys didn't see in the background. I actually changed the port address since the other one was having problems since I had just established a connection on it. Um, so, uh, yeah, change that to 8001, uh, destination port to 8001, and then uh, go ahead and add a TCP flag of sin to create the half open connection. And then what I'm going to do is an SR1, which is a send and receive, and it only receives the first packet, and then the IP over TCP that we just created. And go ahead and start the sniffing before I inject it. And there we have it. Um, now, in the info, it isn't as clear that these are, uh, this is a send request, but if you browse through the summary of the packet specifically to the TCP information you can see that we have our SIN flag here so it is a SIN packet and then we close that out and then followed up by that as the SIN ACK response from the server and then because the server didn't receive the ACK response about one second later it uh, sends an RST or reset packet to close out the connection so basically what we're gonna have to do is script this out to where it happens really fast with a whole bunch of connections so that we can overload it with half open requests during that short window before it closes it out uh, so I'll be working on that Python script and be making it available for download soon